Ever wondered how your diet influences your skin health, specifically in relation to skin cancer? You're not alone in this curiosity. Skin cancer is a topic that continues to spark conversations and research worldwide. It's not surprising, given that it's the most common form of cancer globally. It's important to understand and discuss it because, like all health matters, awareness and knowledge are our greatest tools in prevention and management. In this video, we're taking a deep dive into the role of diet and medication in skin cancer prevention and management. We'll be exploring the foods that might be doing more harm than good and those that could potentially be your skin's best friends. We'll also touch on the medication aspect, shedding light on what science has to say about it. So, are you ready to embark on this journey of discovery? Stay tuned to discover the foods that could potentially help you prevent or manage skin cancer. First, let's delve into the foods that you might want to avoid or reduce in your diet. We've all heard the saying, you are what you eat, right? Well, it's more than just a catchy phrase. Our diet can significantly impact our health, including the health of our skin. So let's talk about some foods that might not be the best for our skin health. First on our list is processed foods. They often contain refined sugars and unhealthy fats that can lead to inflammation in the body. Inflammation is a key player in many skin conditions, including skin cancer. It's not just those microwave dinners or fast food burgers that you need to watch out for. Even seemingly innocent foods like bread, pasta and cereals can be processed and filled with these harmful ingredients. Next up is excessive sugar. Sugar can be a real sweet talker, but don't let it fool you. When we consume sugar, it can attach to proteins in our body, a process known as glycation. This can lead to the breakdown of collagen and elastin, two proteins vital for youthful and healthy skin. Over time, this damage can lead to premature aging and increased vulnerability to skin damage. Then we have red meat. While it can be a good source of protein, eating too much red meat can increase your risk of skin cancer. This is due to the high levels of iron found in red meat which can lead to oxidative stress and damage your skin cells. And last but not least, alcohol. We all enjoy a good glass of wine or a cold beer now and then, but excessive drinking can dehydrate your skin and cause inflammation. Plus, alcohol can also impair your body's ability to absorb vital nutrients, which can leave your skin more susceptible to damage. Remember, moderation is key. It's not about completely eliminating these foods, but about reducing their consumption. After all, it's the small changes that we make in our daily lives that can have the biggest impact on our overall health. Now, let's shift our focus to the foods that can potentially boost your skin health. Our plates often mirror our health. The foods we consume can have a significant impact on our overall well-being, and this includes our skin health. So let's dive into the types of foods that are not only delicious, but can also lend a helping hand in maintaining healthy skin. First up, we have fruits and vegetables rich in antioxidants. These include berries, oranges, bell peppers and leafy greens. Antioxidants are like the body's personal cleanup crew. They help to rid the body of harmful substances called free radicals, which can damage cells and potentially lead to skin cancer. So, by loading up on these antioxidant-rich foods, you're providing your body with the tools it needs to keep your skin cells healthy. Next, we have lean protein. Foods like chicken, fish and lentils are excellent sources. Your skin is primarily made of protein, so it only makes sense to ensure you're getting plenty in your diet. Protein provides the building blocks your body needs to repair and regenerate skin cells, which is essential in the fight against skin cancer. Lastly, we have foods high in omega-3 fatty acids. Think fatty fish like salmon, nuts and seeds and avocados. Omega-3 fatty acids are known for their anti-inflammatory properties. Inflammation can lead to cell damage and potentially skin cancer. So eating a diet rich in omega-3s can help to counteract this. Remember, these foods are not a cure or a guaranteed prevention for skin cancer, but they can certainly support overall skin health. It's always important to have a balanced diet and to talk to a healthcare professional about any dietary changes, especially if you're managing a condition like skin cancer. Incorporating these foods into your diet can not only help in skin cancer prevention, but can also contribute to overall health. 
So let's make every meal count for our health one plate at a time. Apart from food, certain medications can also play a role in skin cancer prevention and management. In the realm of skin cancer treatment, there's a wide array of medications that can be utilized. These can range from chemotherapy, immunotherapy, to targeted therapy, each with its unique mode of action and purpose. Starting with chemotherapy, this is a treatment method that uses drugs to target and destroy cancer cells. These drugs circulate throughout the body, killing off rapidly dividing cells, a characteristic of cancer cells. However, it's important to note that chemotherapy also affects healthy cells that divide rapidly, which can lead to side effects like hair loss and fatigue. Immunotherapy, on the other hand, is a newer approach to cancer treatment. Instead of directly killing cancer cells, immunotherapy works by boosting your body's natural defenses to fight cancer. It uses substances made by the body or in a laboratory to improve or restore immune system function. This approach can be highly effective, but it's not without its potential side effects, which can include flu-like symptoms and skin reactions. Finally, there's targeted therapy. This type of treatment uses drugs designed to target specific genes or proteins that are found in cancer cells, but not in normal cells. This allows the drugs to attack the cancer cells without harming normal cells. Targeted therapy can be very effective, especially in cases where the cancer has specific genetic mutations that the drugs are designed to target. But remember, while these medications can be powerful tools in the fight against skin cancer, they are not a substitute for a healthy lifestyle or preventative measures. They should only be taken under the supervision of a healthcare provider. Always consult with your doctor or a specialist to understand the potential benefits and risks associated with these treatments. Don't forget, medication should always be used as part of a comprehensive treatment plan under the guidance of a healthcare provider. To summarize, your diet can play a significant role in skin cancer prevention and management. As we've discussed today, there are certain foods that you might want to consider avoiding and others that can be beneficial to incorporate into your diet. It's not just about what you eat, but also about how you nourish your body that can make a difference in your skin health. First off, let's revisit the foods that are better to steer clear of. Foods high in unhealthy fats, processed foods, and those with a high glycemic index can potentially increase inflammation in your body, which might contribute to skin cancer. This includes things like fast food, sugary drinks, and white bread. It's not about completely eliminating these from your diet, but rather limiting your intake and opting for healthier alternatives when you can. Speaking of healthier alternatives, let's talk about the foods that can be beneficial for your skin. Foods rich in antioxidants, omega-3 fatty acids, and vitamins A, C, and E can help protect your skin from damage. These nutrients can be found in a variety of foods like leafy greens, fatty fish, nuts, seeds, fruits and vegetables. Remember, a colourful plate is often a healthy plate. However, diet alone can't prevent or cure skin cancer. It's just one piece of the puzzle. That's why it's crucial to also consider medication in your skin health strategy. Depending on your specific situation, different types of medication can be used to treat or prevent skin cancer. This could include topical treatments, systemic treatments, or targeted therapies. It's important to discuss these options with your healthcare provider to find the best approach for you. While we've covered a lot of ground today, remember that these are just general guidelines. Each person is unique, and what works for one might not work for another. That's why it's essential to consult with a healthcare professional before making any significant changes to your diet or medication routine. It's also important to remember that regular checkups are key to early detection and effective treatment of skin cancer. Keep an eye on any changes in your skin and don't hesitate to seek medical advice if something doesn't seem right. Regular skin examinations by a dermatologist can help catch any potential issues early on. In the end, maintaining a balanced diet, staying on top of your medication and keeping regular checkups can go a long way in maintaining your skin health and potentially preventing skin cancer. But remember, it's not about being perfect, it's about making small, consistent changes that can add up over time. Remember, prevention is always better than cure. Stay aware, stay healthy 
and keep your skin safe.